Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormus back again for another video today. And welcome back to the channel, guys. We're here again for yet another pack opening. I've got a pretty exciting one for you guys today. I have the Professor Juniper uh, Premium Tournament Collection Box with that comes with an absolute boatload of stuff. Uh, one full art Professor uh, Professor's Research Supporter Card featuring Professor Juniper, which is a very nice card. Uh, three additional foil Professor's Research uh, Supporter Cards featuring Professor Juniper. 65 card sleeves featuring Professor Juniper, a sturdy deck box featuring Professor Juniper, this I'm guessing, um, a large metallic coin featuring Professor Juniper, two coin condition markers, six tournament ready damage dice, seven Pokemon TCG booster packs, and a code card for Pokemon TCG Live. Now, of course, the whole reason why we're opening this is because of the packs. There's seven packs in here. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to open it up. I don't know what is actually in these packs, or what packs are in here. But, oh, I'm just hitting my camera. Sorry, guys. But uh, we'll go uh, one at a time, I guess. We'll see what's in here. So, oh, this is actually the battle deck, I'm guessing. Uh, that's pretty cool. That actually looks dope. Um, oh, and there, there's all the packs. You know what? We'll come back to that in a moment, then. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's the reason why I bought this. But let's take a look at what else is in here. So here are the... Uh, what is these? What are these called again? The uh, coin condition markers. So I'll put Juniper over there. Um, yeah, cool, I guess. Don't need those. I don't actually play the TCG all that much, slash ever, never have. So use some sleeves, pretty nice sleeves, uh, to be fair as well, that uh, I may get some use out of. Get some very small Juniper dice, or die, uh, very dope. A fucking massive Juniper coin. Uh, very nice. I like the like emerald green though. That's dope. Add that to the coin collection, and then uh, here we go. Uh, so yeah, the junipers are in here. I would imagine, plus a code card for you guys. So there you go. And yeah, there we go. Hollow juniper. Very nice. Hollow juniper. Very nice. Hollow juniper. Very nice. And then of course the. Full art professor's research, and again, like I said, this is a beautiful card, I'm not going to lie. Um, out of curiosity, is this, this is a Black Star promo. Let's go and take a look at how much this is currently worth. Uh, where is the set? I'm actually a buffoon. I just can't find it. Where is it? <laughs> I actually just can't find it. Um, hello? Where are the promos? Sword and she... Oh, there we go. My god. Sorry, that was a struggle. <laughs> um, professor's Research. Let's see how much this is currently worth. Um, oh my god, there's a lot of fucking cards here. Jesus Christ. Uh, professor's Research. Full art is currently worth $2.39. Again, this is a beautiful card. So... Not a bad card. Uh, a little over two bucks. Not bad. Uh, might as well sleeve that up while we're here. Yeah, I think I might buy some more of these as well, depending on what packs are in here, because I don't know what packs are in here, and I am intrigued to know. Um, but yeah, depending on how it is, I might buy some extra packs, or some extra one of these, some of these, I guess I should say, because I... Uh, I'm really hoping for some older Sword and Shield packs in here, but I just don't know yet. So, starting it off, we've got Brilliant Stars. All right, cool. Let's open this up. Brilliant Stars. And uh, like I said, honestly, not a bad deal. This was uh, $44 before tax, I think, Canadian, um, from Toys R Us. And uh, shout out to Toys R Us because... These are actually on sale now. They were, they're like 40% off. So, um, yeah, that's a, it's a pretty good sale right now. And seven packs, again, depending on what packs come in here, you never know what you uh, may get. So let's see what we get out of this Brilliant Stars pack. Duskull, Reverse Hollow, Cynthia's Ambition, and a non-hollow Star Raptor. I do love Star Raptor, though, so that's... That's okay. Moving on to another Brilliant Stars. Uh, nice. I really, really want to open more Brilliant Stars. So if Brilliant Stars is the bulk of these, uh, don't be surprised if you see more of these getting opened up because, again, I just really want to open um, 
more brilliant stars so one two three four and actually you guys are gonna see another brilliant stars video not too uh not too far from here so yeah weasel gibble a nice gibble art trap pinch very cute Execute or execute. Sorry, Starly. We've got the whole line now. Choice belt, reverse hollow, and a non-hollow Magmortar, but a very cool card with the Electivire there as well. That's really cool. That's nice. I like that a lot. All right, continuing on, a another Brilliant Stars. Very nice. All right, let's see if we can get something out of this one. If it's anything like my last video, then. We won't get anything till the very last pack. Like I said, there are seven packs in here, so we've uh, got a decent amount of packs. Yeah, like I said, it's honestly not a bad price for what you're getting. Obviously, I don't need any of the actual TCG stuff. I've never actually played the TCG legitimately before, so that isn't something that I need. But, yeah, I mean, you know, still some cool stuff, and the packs... Uh, are kind of nice pulling with nice uh, pulling out an RCS V full art um, I actually might already have this one to be fair but I'm gonna go take a look just because I don't know what so this isn't from the trainer gallery right no it's not um, just because I don't know how much or how many different sets are going to be in this um, wait Okay, I thought this was the alt art for a second. I'm like, oh my god, are you serious? Uh, no, no, it's not though. Which one is it? Okay, so it's this one. Uh, currently worth uh, six twenty-two, so six dollars, not bad. Let me sleeve that up real quick. That's uh, that's a decent pull though. Definitely a nice pull to add to the collection. Again, like I said, I've been wanting to open up more Brilliant Stars. <laughs> maybe this wants me to as well so moving on to fusion strike nice again another set that i want to open up more of i know uh, i'm sure i'm getting some weird faces right now but i just have not opened enough of the uh sword sword and shield sets and obviously i just recently got back into pokemon cards so i've been trying to do that now i'm trying to go back to some of the older sets I really want to open some more X and Y and uh, Sun and Moon packs. I haven't opened X and Y packs in a long time. That was the last time I was really heavy into uh, Pokemon packs. A Corviknight non-holo. And um, another Fusion Strike. Nice. But, uh, yeah, that was the last time I had opened up, uh, or really heavily opened up, packs it was back in x and y i opened up a couple sun and moon packs which you guys would have seen on this channel i believe but not a whole lot so i would love to do some of those but uh they're hard to find at an affordable price let me tell you let me tell you uh they're, they're hard to find i will say Sislipi, one of my favorite new Pokemon from Gen 8. A very cool Pokemon. Reverse Holo Clauncher and a non holo Araquanid on the beach. That looks very nice, to be fair. All right, down to, uh, I think, the final two packs. We've got In Evolving Skies. Again, another series that I want to just open up more of. We got the Duraludon on the uh, cover. Too bad I absolutely destroyed that pack. Uh, oh, the code card's backwards. Sorry, guys. Well, I guess we know there's nothing crazy in here then. That's okay, as the Toronto Maple Leafs lose their first game of the season. I'm currently recording this October 12th. Uh, and obviously, this video is not going to be going out for a little while. Um, you guys don't know that, but yeah. Uh, and a smear goal non hollow. Wait, was that a hollow? No, okay. On to the seventh and final pack Chilling Rain. Again, a set I have not opened enough of but uh, I really want to open more of. So yeah, I definitely might buy more of these. Obviously, uh, I mean, haven't had the greatest luck in this video so far, but that is okay. I just want to get uh, some more pack openings out there for you guys. So let's do this. All right, Curlia, Agatha, Flannery, or Flannery probably, Rockruff, Mareep, Grookey, 
That's very awesome. One of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. Poor Yawn. Reverse Hollow, Sawsbuck, Winter Sawsbuck, and ooh, a Celebi V Full Art. So that's a very nice card. Let's go see how much that is from uh, Chilling Rain. Nice. That's a really nice looking card. That's a very nice card. 160 to 198. That is, I really like the colors on it. <clears throat> uh, all right, Celebi V Full Art is currently worth $3.66. Um, that's actually the second most, uh, or second highest priced Celebi from the set. The VMAX Secret Rare is the only one that's actually worth more. So, not bad, guys. I mean, out of uh, seven packs, we get two pulls. So, I did better than my uh, recent Evolving Skies pack opening. So, not too bad. But some really nice cards in this that I think I may definitely open some more of. So, and we get a, quite a wide variety of packs in this set as well. Uh, of course, the Celebi from Chilling Rain, the Arceus from Brilliant Stars, and then the Professor's Research promo card as well. Three really nice cards that I'm very happy with. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.